Hello, all my Pisces. Welcome to your monthly reading. And this is going to be for the month of June. So I'm really excited. Um, last month was my first month of doing um, monthly readings. So um, if you did listen to them, if you have any other ideas on what you would like to see in your monthly reading, um, just comment down below. Or if there's something that you want me to continue, you know, comment on that below too. I'd love to hear um, from you guys. So I know that this is being helpful for you. Um, but I'm excited to jump in for the month of June for you. Um, Pisces was the last one to receive their reading last month, so the last she'll be first. I'm going to reverse order for this month, so um, Pisces, you'll be first. Um, before I start, I always love just to thank the Creator for being here with us, and we're so grateful for your presence and for the unconditional love that you have for each and every one of us. We welcome you, and we thank you. And we also welcome all of our guardian angels and angels and our spirit guides, all our loved ones who've gone to the other side and our ancestors. Um, and then, you know, any of that myriad of magical beings of unconditional love and light, we welcome you and we thank you for being here as well. All right, so what we'll do, um, I felt we'll start off with a spirit of the animal oracle, just to get an overall, what's the overall energy or theme for your month of June. So we'll start off with that. And then we'll also get another card from the Major Arcana for the Light Fierce Tarot. So we'll do that as well. Good shuffle there. What would you like Pisces to know for their month of June, please? Okay, I feel like this one is the one that wants to be shown, so we will do that here. You've got the Orca Well Adventure. I'll let you see the card there. Beautiful imagery there. And it says, dare to do things differently. Sing your wild song. Manifest your travel dreams. Attempt the great journey with confidence. And be loyal. Friends and family are your treasures. Be brave. You are more powerful than you know. Well, wow, great. You know, definitely sounds like um, the month of June is going to be a wonderful adventure for you. So if you're like thinking of going on a trip, um, you know, it is summer. So um, I know you might have been tentative with everything going on, but it seemed like things are opening back up. You know, of course, follow your heart, follow your gut on how extensive you go and what extensive you do. But take an adventure. Um, step out, be brave, and um, I love that. Dare to do things differently. I um, also want to oh, open right up to uh, read from the book here. So it says, the fierce orca is a powerful totem. Orcas live in pods and have tremendous respect for their guiding matriarchs who can live to be 100 years old. Orcas are family-oriented, and the group members take care of each other. Those with orca as totem are strong, determined, and protective. When feeling joyful, they rise up powerfully from the water and create orca thunder. Orca teaches us the power of breath. If orca is swimming in your consciousness, try breathing like orca to release any negativity you may have absorbed. Breathe in as deeply as you can, hold your breath, then expel with an explosive swoosh or try making an orca cry. This can release resentments and greatly increase your chi, which is your, your spiritual energy. If orca is your totem, you are highly telepathic. Inner sonar guides you to your goal. Others will perceive your great strength and resolve. You can lead. You always find success. Your family will bring you comfort throughout your very long life. Follow spirits, signals, and inner guidance to help you get back on track when feeling lost. You are a creature born to happiness. Jump through the water, make a splash, and share your joy of living with the world. That's amazing. I love that. Um, and then I also like 
of this particular deck gives some like questions or statements that you can kind of contemplate over the month whichever one resonates with you and the first one says are you feeling intense remember to breathe deeply are you lost are you beached are you not following your sonar ask orca to help you find your way then it says beware of false guidance look within and learn so i love that you know like we mentioned in the beginning with this adventure that you're called to do and go on in the month of june follow that inner sonar follow your inner um, gut your inner heart you know try to get out of your mind a little bit because some of the guidance that you're getting is not 100% um, accurate from the external world. So it's about trusting your inner heart from a place of love, um, you know, in the month of June. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, next we're gonna pull a card here from the Major Arcana. Um, I broke this deck in, like I did last month into the four suits of the minor arcana and then the major arcana. So the major arcana is gonna help you understand the overall energy for the month and then I'll explain what we're doing as we move on to the others. All right. So let just give you a good mix up here. All right. For Pisces for June, what else would you like them to know? Okay, <laughs> there we go. Yep. So you got the Hanged Man, um, which is number 12. And for um, a couple messages that come with this, one is about looking at things from a different perspective, which kind of does, um, you know, does fit into here about looking inside. You can kind of see where this um, bright light is around the head. Um, and it's about choosing that new perspective, like a new enlightened point of view because um, they're not in pain they're not you know hung upside down for torture or punishment um, it's a choice to see things from a different perspective another piece of this is based on an old um, myth about um, Odin which is in the old tales was like the creator um, you know one of the like father father divine father um, he chose to hang upside down from like a tree of life in order to get enlightenment to find truth and so he chose to hang upside down on purpose and that's what is happening here is you're choosing this month to also see things from a different perspective so that you can learn um, and just these higher truths about your life and about life in general you can see how they're hanging down here and um, kind of putting their fingers into this mighty, um, it's like water, it's like a, um, a swirl of information. So there's all these signs, all these, this information, and you're putting your fingers down into it because you're tapping in um, and doing that. You know, water represents um, like the subconscious. So you're looking at going beneath into the unknown to discover um, information. So that alone in itself can be an adventure. You can be having a physical adventure. You can be having a spiritual uh, enlightenment adventure as well. So that is exciting. Um, next, we are going to look at um, wands. Uh, wands are gonna represent like um, spirit. It's the fire element. So what we're gonna ask is for, for the month of June, what would the creator like you to know about your spiritual journey during that month? And then we'll also pull an Oracle card here for clarification on that. So we'll start off here. Let me just give you a little shuffle before I start asking here, just to make sure that we're freshed, refreshed here. All right. All right, creator, what would you like Pisces to know about their spiritual journey in the month of June? What would you like them to know? And I know Pisces are water signs, of course, so they're used to traveling into the subconscious world, like we mentioned here. So you feel at home going into the depths. Some of the other signs, if you don't have a lot of water, um, in, your, in your chart, then you, um, it's not as comfortable. <laughs> All right. We got the Queen of Wands. Um, and I love this because the Queen of Wands brings such energy. I mean, you can just see she, 
just lightens the room when she walks in. Everyone just knows it because you can feel just the expansive energy. So this is a wonderful, you know, it fits totally into this um, spiritual journey here because she, um, you can see all the candles around her. They've got the cat, which is, you know, you have your familiar, so you have your spirit guides, um, animal guides, you have other outworldly beings. Um, you know, you can see like the magic of unconditional love, that spark, you're just gonna feel like um, a whole new, I would say a whole new woman, and doesn't necessarily mean, um, you know, gender related, but you're just going to feel like a whole new person, a whole new soul. And um, I, I just really love this, this feeling that it has of, of confidence and of um, ruling your spiritual side and connecting with with that divine feminine side a lot of times we're if you're you know a lot of organized religions focus on the divine father but the divine mother um, uh, like in Christianity can be looked at as like the comforter of the Holy Spirit that is sent um, or if you're in other belief systems you know the goddess the divine mother um, is such a compassionate nurturing side um, of the creator so I really feel that this is about expanding that um, and then also focusing on connecting um, if you don't believe in spirit like spirit animals spirit guide type things um, you know look at connecting to your angels connecting to your guardian angels connecting to loved ones who've gone to the other side because this is going to be um, a very energized month of June for you that's going to give you that ability to tap in uh, to the subconscious tap into the other world back home I love that um, next we're going to Poke a card here from the Return of Spirit Oracle just to get additional messages here. All right, what would you, else would you like Pisces to know? about their June regarding their spiritual journey, please. Spiritual journey, here we go. Got immunity. I love that picture there. And I'll read from the book here. Um, you know, one of the things, especially when it's talking about travel, you know, um, of course, this, we're all about vaccinations and doing things and of course trust your heart what you want to do but if you're going to travel um, even though this is a spiritual card I feel like there's a message there too just to be aware of your immunity um, if you don't have your vaccinations just make sure you're as healthy as you can be um, before you travel um, and do all that <clears throat> so it says the immunity card comes when you're feeling as though uh, you're under attack you may be experiencing disagreements or arguments. Perhaps you're feeling belittled, unworthy, or misunderstood. Whatever the case may be, there's a feeling of the need to protect yourself. Sometimes these feelings may not even evolve, I'm sorry, involve an individual person, but are perceived from the world at large. It's important that you stay grounded at this time and not fall into old patterns of behaviors or reactions. This is an opportunity to deal with your feelings and the situation in a healthier way. You are not responsible for what others say, think, believe, or feel. You do not have to own it or try to fix or change anything in an attempt to appease them. Every person on this planet is responsible for their own behavior. The immunity card offers you a layer of protection from the negative energy surrounding the situation so that you can respond and take action in a positive manner. This also helps you to see the bigger picture and how to resolve the matter in a way that ensures the highest good for all involved. Just as your physical body builds its immune system, energetically you are building a healthy response system to negative experiences and people. You will not be affected in the same way should this type of situation occur again in the future. 
you'll gain a healthy form of protection on the inside and no longer need to energetically wear a shell of protection on the outside. Those around you will feel the shift in your energy as you become more accepting and open to letting others into your personal world. And I love that, especially with everything that's been going on over this last year, you know, you know, around, you know, all that um, just a civil unrest, political stuff, voting stuff, um, illnesses, I mean, everything. Almost every area of, of your life could have been impacted. And what draws us all out is everyone's opinions that are constantly being spouted at us. And we feel like we are supposed to grab what they're all believing um, almost blindly sometimes and just um, trying to protect it and try to defend it. But what I love about the spiritual journey is it's about taking um, you away from everything else and just pushing all those opinions away, letting you find, you know, this place inside, you know, finding your inner spark, your inner love and focusing on, on that. Because when, when you're trying to defend everything else that you're told that you're just supposed to defend, then um, you get fear um, in there and that defensiveness the fight or flight kicks in and that's not peaceful we're not thinking we're just reacting we're hurting one another um there's no peace you know it's just keeps on escalating and escalating and escalating but when we come back to this place of love and we sit in that then we start seeing things from a whole new perspective and it's not about you know taking on everyone else's actions as you're responsible for it or you're responsible to change it you start by looking at your own heart and what's going on inside of you and you do your inner work and then that helps support the entire collective's energy everything that's going on out there because you can't change anyone's heart they can only change their own no one can change your heart you can only look at what you want to do from a place of love for you and then from a place of love what you'd want to do for the world so i really feel like this is a that huge um kind of shift in your energy and people will see it because you're no longer coming from a place of fear and defense you're coming from a place of love and just letting love fill you up and overflow out of you right all right so next we're going to move into pentacles which is all about the the physical world around you the environment and um, so that's usually like the earth or pentacles i mean sorry the pentacles it's usually earth and um yeah so it'll be the physical world you know where this is the spiritual piece our inner this is going to be the outer world so it's more what kind of things are happening out here in the physical world around you and then we'll also pick a card here um from the enchanted map um, to get clarification on that. So let me just mix these up a little bit. All right. So creator, what would you like Pisces to know about their physical environment? Like what's going to be going on around them physically in the world? This is for the month of June. And if you're looking at this outside the month of June, like after it, um, just know that there are messages here for you anyway. So it's not specifically bound by time there as well. And I love this for you. So this is the page of pentacles, which is about um, the ace of pentacles, you know, which starts off and so you have the ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way up to, and then this would be um, the page, which comes after the 10. So the ace would have been like, planting brand new seeds and watching them grow, having things fruition. Um, where the Page of Pentacles is, is this is about, there's things that were already growing. You can see there's like growth all around there, around the outside with all the forests there. And this is about what you have, um, like you, you, you reaped what you sowed. So now you're taking down all the stocks. You're, um, like if it was corn, you've already harvested the corn um, shucks off of the, the stocks, but now the stocks don't have any purpose anymore. They're just dying. So it's about taking all those things that no longer serve you 
um, and making room for new growth. So tilling the ground and doing that type of thing. So you're going to have some new situations coming around you. So this could be like um, new conditions in your job, new conditions um, like in your finances, new conditions happening um, and unfolding um, with you there. Let's see what else we get here. Oh, I'm pulling an Enchanted Map Oracle here as well. Um, and one other message that I really like about this is kind of reminds me of like a hurricane, right? And so you're standing in the middle and you're getting rooted. You can see the roots going out of the bottom of the shoe and coming down here. So, you know, it's, you're becoming rooted in that center where you're finding peace. No matter what's going on out there, you're finding like this peace that's going on um, as well. And I love that because it kind of fits into what we're talking about. The more you let go of trying to control things in the outside world that are out of your control, you find peace and you do have more energy because all that energy you were invested in trying to control the external world you get to pour into you because that was being wasted. Um, but when you focus in on, you know, your journey, your heart, then you just see this total change, right? All right, what else would you like Pisces to know about the external environment that's going to be around them or their physical bodies, the physical world um, in the month of June? This is the number six, and this is the mountain. I love, I love the uh, artwork on these cards. Okay. And numerology-wise, um, like the six, for me, usually represents like mother card or parent card. So, um, you know, this could mean that there's going to be a change in relationship with, like, not so much like relationship, but um, just in the environment around, like, your parent parental interaction, either you as a parent or with you and your parents. So, I love this. It says you have the capacity to flow around any obstacle. This is the time to adapt. Sometimes you'll come across what appears to be an insurmountable obstacle, like a huge mountain that separates you from your success. You might think that climbing it or chiseling away at it is the answer, but why take such a treacherous, tedious approach? Be like the rivers that flow around the mountains naturally. You'll move past this obstacle relatively quickly if you choose the easy way around. This is the time to adapt to your circumstances. If you decide to climb, remember to take one step at a time, opting for the next right action. And sometimes I also read the reversed on here, and I feel like um, for your reading, I'm supposed to uh, read from the reversed one too. It says there's an obstacle to your inquiry, and this is not the time to move forward. Wait a while, be patient and a way around the mountain will be revealed. Pushing forward isn't in your highest good. Don't try to climb too high to grasp the prize that seems out of reach, because it is, for now. If you exceed your limits, you'll find yourself tumbling down and you'll get hurt. So remain open to a new possibility rather than stubbornly forging ahead. Okay, <laughs> yeah. So this would be the new possibility, you know. Um, um, and I love that message too. So with the things that are coming, you know, into your life in the month of June, um, try not to get stuck in, um, you know, that stubborn mentality of this is what was supposed to be done, so this is what I need to do. This is the way I've always done it. So this is what, uh, you know, is supposed to happen. This is the way it's supposed to work out. Instead, um, be open and surrender to that. And that totally fits into this whole spiritual side too here about not being, um, you know, so adamant about all those things out there are supposed to be, you know, happening in a certain way. It's about returning inward and being open um, to those things. All right. And then we're going to move on to the swords, which swords are all about our mind and our thoughts. Um, it's normally like air, the element of air. 
So what we're going to be asking for this one is we'll just ask, you know, what is our mental, what's your mental state going to be <laughs> in uh, the month of June? Or just more, what's your mental adventure going to, you know, uh, include, include, like what kind of energies are going to be out there? Creator, what would you like them to know, Pisces, about their mental adventure in the month of June? make it really obvious for us, please. <laughs> I heard mind games. <laughs> no, no mind games in the month of June. Yep, Knight of Swords. So what I love about this is um, you have guidance, um, you know, for this, you know, like you have the, the black cat here, you've got the black crow here, which is about um, you know, this is about action. You know, the knights um, are, uh, for most of the um, these, um, you know, the different, um, you know, the ones, the pentacles. The pentacle knight is the only one that's slow moving. The other three are all about action and taking steps toward it. Um, so you have the new thoughts that are coming in and these new changes. So, um, so this could be thoughts and belief systems, right? Because it's all about what your mind um, is perceiving about your your world. So with this questioning that's going to be happening in the spiritual world and this new opportunities and being open to it, it's like, you know, when that thought comes and it resonates, take action on it. Don't be afraid to, you know. He's, he's uh, sprinting off to get on the motorcycle to go even faster. So this is all about... Um, taking action and um, picking up speed and and doing that so where this was telling you to you know wait don't jump um, um, into things in the external world this is about jumping on the new thoughts that come in because um, what they were telling you in here is don't jump and take action the old ways take action with the new ways and then we're also going to pull a card here from the numerology deck um, because numbers and the mind and the brain um, make sense, right? <laughs> so we'll see what additional messages we have for your mental adventure. So yeah, new thoughts, new thoughts. Um, I really feel like you've just been, you're just exhausted and tired of doing what you always did and getting what you always got. So this is the time for for that action there. What else do you want Pisces to know about the month of June for their mental adventure? What's going to be going on in their mind? Or what would you like them to know about what's going on in their mind? So we can get two there. So the first one's 99, and that's compassion. So I love that for you. And then you also got manifestation, number eight. So um, I love this kind of combo here um, because the first one talks about compassion. And I really feel this is compassion for yourself um, and not judge yourself for those old thoughts that you're letting go or for your actions that you've done in the past because when you believed what you did then you had no choice but to act on that belief and that's the same thing for other people if you grew up exactly as someone else and had those same beliefs you'd be acting the same way but because you have had a different life you might have a different kind of point of view from them so you can have compassion for yourself and you can have compassion for the others especially like i said when you return back to yourself and to that love then you have that ability to have compassion for others instead of you know trying to change them and trying to convince them that your truth is a higher truth than them and then the manifestation when you have this new you know this new way of thinking that's coming in um, you're able to manifest and bring those things to pass because when you have these 
um, these new thoughts of just choosing love, being open, then things just kind of fall into your lap. When you're in fear, your mind and brain shut down and you're in fight or flight mode. You don't, um, you don't think clearly. I and mean, that's the whole human body, how it works, so that you don't get you know, stuck trying to think about whether you should run or fight you know, a wolf that's coming to attack you. Um, otherwise, you'd just be standing there thinking while well, it attacked you, right? So when we step out of that into this love, then that's when you're able to manifest and get these ideas that will just come to you on how to make these, this new um, endeavors that are coming into your life during the month of June, you get these ideas and how you can do it, and then you're able to start taking steps and put them into action, right? Um, let's also read from the book here to see what additional messages there are. So you got number 99. So this card indicates a need to be kind and compassionate towards others, especially those who extend beyond your family and circle of friends. Whether it's the ill-tempered clerk at the supermarket checkout or the homeless person on the street, you're being urged to look beyond your judgments to see what lies beneath. There's a lot of truth to the saying, don't judge a man until you've walked a mile in his shoes. For how could you possibly know the story behind another's life? Like we were talking about. So by drawing this card, you're being encouraged to open your heart and mind to see others through the eyes of love. Every time you feel someone else's pain as if it were your own, you raise your personal vibration and the vibration of the world. When you show kindness towards a stranger, you're living as your higher self. When you're understanding and loving, you align yourself with the divine. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to show compassion towards others. As you broaden your understanding of other cultures, personalities, and points of view, you increase the potential avenues to make your dreams come true. Observation without judgment is the key to your success. And the affirmation for that card is, I am compassionate towards others and attract the same in return. And then number eight for manifestation. This card indicates a need to acknowledge the power of your mind <laughs> and your ability to manifest your desires. You're being urged to familiarize yourself with the law of attraction and clarify your wants and needs, for you've entered a powerful cycle of divine manifestation. Provided that your dreams serve the greater good, as well as the intentions of your soul, the universe will assist you in making them come true. So I love that because we we're talking about getting rooted in that, that love, that unconditional love that, that you are. It's going to just bring you so much more energy um, towards that goal. And by drawing this card, you're being reminded that successful manifestation requires more than just positive and wishful thinking. You must also surrender the outcome to the divine and detach from the results. Remember that the law of attraction works both ways, so pay attention to your doubts, your worries and fears, and monitor your negative thoughts. Then focus predominantly on what you want rather than what you fear or don't want. So in order to improve your situation, um, you're being asked to adjust your cycles to those that are leading you toward a time of manifestation. By making peace with your life as it is today and appreciating what you already have, you will create the life you've always imagined. And then the um, affirmation for that card is, I use my thoughts to make my dreams come true. It's so perfect. I mean, how perfect is that? Thoughts come out under the mind that we were inquiring on. All right, and then lastly, but not leastly, of course, is the cups, which that's our emotional world, the water um, kind of element in there. And this is just going to be about what your journey of love is going to be like, or your emotional journey, um, emotional energies that you'll be having in the month of June. All right. 
All right, Crater, what would you like Pisces to know about their emotional journey for the month of June, please? I know, especially being water signs, um, you know, we're usually very emotional. I have a ton of water in my chart, so I understand, you know, those. Oh, beautiful. So you got the Nine of Cups, which, um, Nine, Nine, um, and this is like the wish, kind of a wish fulfillment or, you know, where you just feel so overflowing. You know, obviously this is like joy, joy, joy. Um, you're going to feel like so many of your cups are full and overflowing. Um, you're just joyous, uh, joyous, you know, um, just a beautiful card. I mean, it's one of the, one of the uh, most positive cards. Um, in the entire deck, much less especially for the cups. So of course it's bright, it's beautiful, it's um, and I'm really attracted to this gold and yellow which has to do with your sacral chakra and it has to do with um, your beliefs and um, you know, your beliefs about yourself, right? It's how you interact with yourself um, and how you see yourself. So really about self-worth um, and understanding there. So um, and then we're going to do a journey of love oracle to finish up your reading here and to find out any other clarification information for your emotional journey for the month of June. All right, what else would you like Pisces to know about their emotional Nope. Emotional journey for the month of June. Okay, almost. Sometimes it takes a moment for the card to get in the right order for them to have it flip out to tell us. And we like obvious messages. Yep, there we go. <laughs> we get number 20, Sweet Soul Rising. I love that. Flying High. And we'll read the message here from the Oracle book. So it says you may feel lost in your own thoughts and feelings. And this is the sweetness of surrender into another world, which is what this was all talking about as well. It's a time to dream, to wonder, not to be clear and sharp at this precise moment. If you have a clear plan, like it mentioned here, let it be soft and fill your heart open to allowing, allowing whatever may be. We might believe that it is through tough action and dynamic assertiveness that we make our way through the world, yet sometimes the sweetness of the soul rises and instead we flow gently with the currents of the cosmic ocean, unsure of where we're headed, but safe in the truth that all waters naturally return to the ocean where they're all wanting to go eventually anyway. You can use your own efforts to swim to your destination against the current at times, or you can float on the sweet love of your own soul as it enjoys the privilege of getting to know itself as one with the divine. This oracle brings you guidance now. Surrender and flow. This is not the time to assert your will and try to make things happen, no matter how much you may want to or believe that you should. There's something bigger happening and everything is going to turn out perfectly according to a far larger plan that includes your well-being too, beloved. Sometimes we have to let go of our expectations about how that bigger plan will be achieved and just let it happen. 
trusting that it will actually take place even without us striving to make it so. And this is one of those times. That's brilliant. You know, that really just fits into this whole message over here that went into actually all of the whole messages here, right? Because it was talking about, um, you know, when you have this set way of like for this mountain this is what i have to do i have to climb the mountain i have to destroy the mountain but it's talking about flowing go with the flow around the mountain just whatever comes your way in june enjoy that adventure see things from a different perspective really you know focus in on getting to know that bright light that you are that being of unconditional love um you know that is eternal and powerful and supernatural and just go with the flow of everything else that's happening being open to new thoughts and new possibilities that are coming because that is what is going to fulfill you that's going to make you feel so much more just fulfilled compared to trying to make everything happen the way you think it's supposed to be letting go of those expectations like it said I love this. What a wonderful June. So I know it's like, ah, you know, but Pisces, Pisces is the fish. So no wonder you got Orca, the huge fish. You're not a little tiny goldfish that is at the mercy of the bigger fish. You are the big honking fish and have tons of support. So just know as you go through each moment this coming June, that every second you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And I love you too. Enjoy your adventure. We'll talk to you soon. You take care.